so this is the redmi 10c and it's running android 14 using the evolution x custom rom okay so in this video i will show you how to flash custom recovery custom rom and also test several apps in this one such as the, the root beer apple detector and we're going also to test the network the camera and wi-fi and other stuff okay so this rom is very nice very smooth doesn't have a major bug and i think this is the best rom at the moment okay and you should try this one and make sure to follow all the step so you will not get confused with all the step okay and it should run on the redmi 10c redmi 10 india with 10 power with the codename is fork rain and win okay so stay tuned and check it out hello guys assalamualaikum with again with om bob and this time i have the redmi 10c and we're going to flash custom rom android 14 on this one okay we're going to use the evolution x okay first thing to do let's go to the setting system about pun you can see right here we're using new 14.0.3 on android 13 okay first thing you need to do like usual to the unlock bootloader you can check the bootloader status by hit the me first and five times go back find the additional settings developer option and you can check in here okay so this device has been unlocked but it's not shown in here <laughs> okay <clears throat> okay yeah, this is the first step you need to do the unlock bootloader so uh <clears throat> This step will also work on the beside the Redmi 10C. It's also going to work on the Redmi 10 India and also the Redmi 10 Power. Okay, the code name is Fog, Rain, or Wind. Okay. So next step, let's go to the Facebook mode. And now we are in the desktop, and we also already connect uh, the speakable. Okay. So this is the all the file that we needed we need it and this is the step okay i will put all the step and file in my blog you can check the link in the description box if if there is any change i will put it in there okay so first thing to do let's open the powershell okay from here we want to put it into the some recovery so type facebook space boot and Let's click and drag the custom recovery. Okay, let's wait until it's done. Don't forget to always pick up your FSM modem. It's always a good idea if there is something wrong. You can always restore get your FSM modem. Contain the email and best band for your network card. Okay, and <clears throat> this is the file. We are going to use the version X and we also need the firmware update okay so some custom rom run on the firmware 13.0.13 and some other run on the 13.0.6 so make sure you have to check the compatibility okay copy all the file into the micro sd for a safe step okay and now let's switch the screen again okay now we are in the custom recovery Okay, for the next step, uh, back up here, FSM modem. I already back up the file. You can restore it from here. Go to the backup. Uh, sorry, I mean you can back up from here. Select FS modem. Go to the option tab. Enable compression for a smaller size, and you can restore it in here. Okay. And then <coughs> next step, we need to go to the wipe menu right here. Go to the advanced wipe and let's wipe the data delphic uh, metadata and data okay swipe it and and then let's go back back again now hit the format data button type yes and hit ok okay when it's done we need to flash the firmware update okay now hit the home button go to the install navigate 
to a folder where you copy the file, I put it into the micro SD. Find a folder. Okay, so I put it in. <clears throat> where is it? Uh, I forgot this one. And for this uh, version X type, we need to flash the firmware 13.0.13. Okay, let's swipe it. And for your information, different customer may be needed different firmware update. Okay. Let's go back and then select the custom ROM. We're going to flash the version X. Okay, this size is about 1.6 GB and it's already contained the gaps. So you don't need to install the gaps again. Okay, I'll just skip this one. And now we're already done. Okay, so from here, let's make the custom recovery permanently. Okay, so let's hit the home button and go to the advanced and find the flash current therapy swipe it okay so it will make our custom recovery permanent okay you can see the process pick up the boot image and other stuff and after it finish we can boot it again into the custom recovery just to make sure that the custom recovery is installed permanently Okay, done. Let's hit reboot and recovery. Okay, so now we have our custom recovery work permanently. So <clears throat> from here, we want to go to the wipe menu again, format data one more time. Okay, wait until it finishes and let's wipe the data Delphic one more time. Okay, let's then wipe Delphic data, swipe it. Okay. <clears throat> And because we have a, uh, because we're using the version X, we don't have to install the uh, gaps again. Okay, so, but if you have a final version, you need from here you need to install the gaps and also mages if you want to have root access. Okay, now select reboot system and let's wait until it boots and show us the boot logo. Okay. <clears throat> Before we seeing the reboot logo, now it's changing into the Evolution X. Okay, let's skip this one and we'll, let's continue when it goes into the home screen. Okay, now we are in the home screen, so I have installed several apps such as the dev check, root beer, Apple detector, and other stuff. Okay, let's make a quick review about this ROM. Okay thing to do like usual check the email some of you guys will ask about the email and here we go we have our email safe so there is no problem with the email and also the sim card and <coughs> wi-fi is working okay no problem with the network and next let's open the map to check the gps okay let's check the location and this is my precise location so the gps is running fine okay what else let's go to the dev check let me 10 c under 14 we can see right here the clock is between 300 and 2.4 gigahertz and it takes about 22 gigabyte of internal storage for the system and the RAM it about 2.5 from 4 GB. Okay, wait, nice. <clears throat> now let's go to the settings. You can see right here we have lots of option. We have a power button menu right here with the advanced power menu, power off, restart, advance. You can go to the recovery, bootloader, and other stuff. You can, you can also lock and screenshot from here and customize the menu okay let's go to the settings and you can customize also from here the, the teams okay if you like to uh make a change status bar quick setting and other stuff very nice <clears throat> okay now let's go to the bot button okay android 14 evolution x nice Android security update January 5. Okay, this is quite new. Okay, next 
let's open the app list detector app list detector said that everything is secure okay let's open the root beer which we will check uh, the root access and other stuff okay not rooted nice safety net let's open the safety net pass very nice so this rom is very clean okay what else uh, i have take a picture and also record video and let's check the result this is the result from the back camera this is the front front camera guys now i'm recording using the front camera and let's talk this one okay hello guys now i'm recording okay that is a video from the front camera now i'm recording using the back camera okay very nice so we don't have any problem with the taking a picture and also record video on this rom okay now let's test the cpu throttle i want to check if it's quite stable or enough or not okay the dps is about 160 quite nice and the rom is quite fast also okay <clears throat> Uh, seems that this room is very good. I will rec very recommend for the driver. Okay, better than the Mew. Because my friend has have the Redmi 10C using the stock room and it's very lag. And often got an error. <laughs> okay, very nice. Quite stable. It should, it's quite good for gaming and daily driver. Okay, stop this one and let's open the youtube i want to test the sound and video playback okay let's so it's my my channel <clears throat> okay just let's find short video let me set uh okay, let's try this one Okay, nice. So we don't have any problem with the sound and beauty playback. So everything running just fine without problem. Okay, very good. For the verdict, I will very recommend this from for daily driver. You should try it. Okay, so guys, and if you want to support me, you can check the description box for PayPal and other stuff. You, if you want to. Okay. <laughs> All the stuff, uh, all the step and file I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you have time, I will try to answer it. Okay, that's all. See you in the next video. Wassalamualaikum.